Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we have ourselves a gigantic monitor. This my friends is a curved 31.5 inch VA 75Hz desktop monitor and this is going to be our first hands-on look and unboxing on YouTube. So with that being said guys, let's jump right into it. Now this box right here looks like it is beat up. Uh, I gotta say it's a thin box and it's a curved monitor and it traveled halfway around the world and you got this little ding right here and we should buy a DHL but I've took out all the labels and whatnot so let's go ahead and unbox this beast and see if it still survived after going through halfway around the world yeah let's just open it up and here we go all right that's what that looks like on the inside so that's what you typically should have if you bought it straight from the I don't know, manufacturer or something. R1800, that's the curve. Something about eyes, full HD, a lot of colors. So probably VA panel or IPS. Energy saving, so it supports 100 to 240 volts. And that's about it for the box. All right, moving on. So we've got this broken foam right here. Let's pull this up and it's pretty weighty. It is, it is actually pretty heavy. And let's just go ahead and take the wrapping out. There we go. Phew, all right, check it this thing out. It is a matte finish, so that is good for gaming and PC work and whatnot. And it looks beautiful. And if we take a look at down here, we got our connections. We got HDMI, DVI, and VGA, as well as the power connection. And in the back, we got our mounting system. So if you push that, we should be able to pull this out. And do we have a vase mount? Well, possibly. We possibly do have a phase amount. I'm not too sure. If these are phase amount points, then this is fantastic. We also have two speaker points right here, so stereo audio. This thing can come off, so I don't know, cable management, I guess. There are supposed to be some cable management points on the stand itself, but let's pull that out for now. We got the uh, bottom base. Let's open that up here. I shouldn't be unboxing on top of the monitor screen, but uh, it's a full aluminum piece, kind of heavy, but it does feel solid and not damage anything and then we got the uh the other piece of the stand and this should go in like so and the screws should be in the bag so let's open up the bag and yep we got the screws right there so we got the power cord and this is the european cord so i can't really use it but don't worry i have a bunch of cords laying around as always we got the hdmi cable and a bunch of manuals and how to set up guide for the mount itself there you go and as well as what seems like there are other offerings of different monitors. That's pretty interesting. So this list right here could define what we are getting somewhere in the future of type of monitors they're going to be seeing from this company or this manufacturer or whatnot. It's pretty damn interesting. This probably has some warranty stuff in it. Can't read it. But we also have the screws for the stand. So let's go ahead and set that up. One. And two. Open this up. Whoops, yep, they are different sizes. Let's look at the manual. Yeah, there's no information on where sh screws go where. So what I'm gonna take a guess is the long ones go in this one. And at the bottom, we get the short one. And what you end up with is one extra long one and and one extra small one. Put those in the back of the bag and let's pop the monitor on that stand. That goes in there and kabam. And put the monitor on the stand. Whew. Check that out. This is one huge monitor. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some size comparisons and hook it up and see if it still works. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so here's what it looks like compared to my other monitors. That's my desktop, all right? And this is the monitor. These are my monitors and this is this monitor. But you can see, so we got a 22 inch, we got a 24 inch and then we got a 21 inch monitor 4 by 3 16 by 9 16 by 10 i know crazy but this is a 16 by 9 obviously 31.5 inches it's curved and this is how big it is compared to those monitors so you can pretty much hide those monitors in the background my plan is if those are vase mounts in the back 
is to mount it somehow on top of the center monitor right there and have a kind of a TV setup going on. I can just sit back on my chair and relax and play or watch movies or whatnot. Sounds like a fun place to do it. But what I might do, if that doesn't work also, I'm gonna set it up right here with my secondary PC and it's gonna be a pretty sweet TV gaming setup. And we are back. We have the monitor in center, obviously. It looks fantastic. The stand is solid. We got the speakers here that I had before over there. And now we have the keyboard and the mouse and of course the second PC on this awesome IKEA desk. Now, I have been pleasantly surprised on how well this display performed so far for the past two days. But what has amazed me even more is how well 1080p resolution looks on a 32 inch display. Now I've been skeptical for the longest time of using a display that is larger than 24 inches with a 1080p panel. And again, I have been amazingly surprised by how awesome it still looks. Even by sitting right up to the desk here, less than one meter away from the display, I still had an amazing experience. And that was all topped off with a cherry on top with the curved design of the panel. Now, curved displays, I didn't have much interest in them until now with this thing right here. Everything was actually pretty damn immersive. Now this panel is extremely bright to the point where I actually had to drop the brightness sometimes at night. The more brightness you have, the nicer the display looks. And right now, if you sit this far away from the panel, it just looks amazing. Now if you sit back and relax, you actually get a whole different new experience. It looks very different and it looks even more amazing. You know what I'm talking about if you hold a small phone in your hand like an iPhone 4S and then you go back to your large 5.5 inch display phone and that's when you realize how big of a difference that really is. Now we're on dead pixel buddy right now and you're probably asking, are there any dead pixels? Well, there are actually absolutely no dead pixels whatsoever on this curved 31.5 inch 1080p panel. And again, I have been really surprised on that. Now, if you take a look here, and I'll try to bump up the brightness on my camera, you can kind of see the signature of the uh, of the backlight bleed, but realistically, what it looks like in real life is right about there. This is a black page and you see nothing on a black panel. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, before we go ahead and play some games, I want to talk about the stand itself. The stand here is absolutely solid. It is not going anywhere and it is completely sturdy. And if you do shake the table, it will stabilize within a second or a second and a half. And that is just amazing for this size. Now, let's talk about the colors. From what I see right now, it is an absolute beautiful display to look at. The colors are very nice and vibrant and vivid, as you would expect from a VI panel. And uh, if you're wondering, here's what it looks like from the side. So remember, it is a VI panel and you do get those great viewing angles. It does get a tiny bit washed out on the extreme edges, but it looks absolutely beautiful from all around if you're facing it from a regular angle like that. Now, one last thing before we forget, let's talk about the OSD panel or the on-screen display. So here is actually pretty simple and straightforward, and it's fairly easy to actually work with, which is great. So first one you get it, it's gonna be in Chinese, but that is pretty easy to change. Just go down here, to the OSD icon right there and go to the first one by clicking enter and enter again and selecting English. Very simple and straightforward. But these are pretty much the panels here. There are not many panels that you can tweak and work with, but overall there is enough to do what you need if you're just looking to play some games, watch some movies and enjoy content on it. So here are the menus. So we have brightness, contrast, and again, the brightness of this panel is just amazing. It is extremely bright. It has eco mode. What that eco means is basically the uh, modes of the panel. So you can have standard, text, movie, you know, those presets, RTS, FPS, and whatnot. And I just have it on standard and I kind of tweak the uh, contrast and brightness to what you see right now. DCR is a dynamic contrast. Uh, it just adds a little darkness to it. I usually prefer it off. But the menu here consists of a menu button or a select button and then up and down and an exit and that's about it for the controls. It's very easy to control. And you do have the color temperature which is very useful and yes you can tweak the red, green and blues, customize them to your liking. Now there's actually one more thing and that would be the game mode. So if you turn that on you will actually get a crosshair in the center of your screen. And I have tested it in CSGO and it is spot on accurate. And yes you do have multiple options so you have the green, you have the red and then the other design as well as in green and red and then you can turn that off if you want. So there you go. All right, I think that's pretty much about it for now. Let's go ahead and play some games, play some TV shows, and see what they look like.
and we are back. So there's actually one more thing I want to add before we end this video, and that is about the claimed 75 hertz refresh rate. In my testing, it did not seem to work. It was not listed in the monitor properties, and once I did try to manually input it in my graphics card settings at 75 hertz, it did not work as well. So the conclusion, what do I really think of this monitor? Well. For the past four and a half days, I've been testing it, working on it, playing games, enjoying video content, and of course, working on this video for it. And I can tell you right now that it's actually nothing short of awesome. If you're a content creator, you'll enjoy this monitor as well, since you can actually see way more of your content. Of course, pixels are gonna be the same if you're coming from a 1080p panel, but you will definitely get a larger viewing. If you're looking to enjoy video content on it, then this is also a perfect monitor. Not only it's got the size, the curvature, and the amazing colors that it produces thanks to that panel, you also have that almost bezel-less design, which really pulls you into whatever you're watching and makes everything much more aesthetically pleasing. Now you're probably asking, why shouldn't you just get a TV that has 32 inches, 1080p, and just call it a day? You gotta keep in mind that TVs have a very slow response time. If you're using it for PCs, you're gonna have a hard time. And second of all, some TVs won't even auto start when you turn on your computer. You gotta manually turn on the TV in order to use it. You got slow response time, you got less options, the colors are not right, it sometimes gets very cumbersome. But in this case, we have a six millisecond response time on this monitor, and I felt almost no difference to my current monitor, which is a two millisecond gaming monitor that is 60 hertz. I have done the UFO ghosting test, and it seemed to be very similar to my current monitor, so that's cool. And finally, can you play games on it? Well, you guys saw we have played all kinds of games. We have played games from competitive CSGO, fast action Twitch shooters, relaxing games like Rocket League, and free roam environmental games like GTA 5. And overall, I just had a great time playing with this monitor. Now, if you're looking at this monitor and you're saying to yourself, damn, if this monitor was only 144 hertz, well, you're in luck because there's actually another company that is using almost the exact same panel, possibly from the same manufacturer. It's also 31.5 inches, 1080p, VA, except that one is four millisecond response time and it has a 144 hertz monitor with FreeSync. So with all that being said, guys, it has been a while. This monitor definitely deserves the commando stamp of approval. So there you go. I'll be leaving links for everything in the description if you guys are interested. And that is actually about it for this video, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.